குட் மார்னிங் வணக்கம் இன்னைக்கு நம்ம என்ன பார்க்க போறோம் அப்படின்னா ரிஜிட் ரொட்டேட்டர் பார்ட் டூ நம்ம ஏற்கனவே ரிஜிட் ரொட்டேட்டர் எப்படி வந்து ஸ்காடிங்கர் வேவ் ஈக்குவேஷன் மைக்ரோவேஸ்பெக்ட்ரோஸ்கோபி Uh, this is the basis for this is the principle of rotational spectroscopy microwave spectroscopy idu therinja tha ninga microwave spectroscopy padikka mudiyum so you in second year la you will be studying rotational spectroscopy microwave spectroscopy so this is the basis for um, rotational and microwave spectroscopy so appo uh, vandu in the previous class we have uh, we have shown that capital p p equal to n e power plus or minus i m k on solving that there are two equations left hand side equation we have studied left hand side equation lhs and right hand side equation on solving the right hand side equation remember on solving the uh, rhs we will get this uh, wave function we will get this p function uh, equal to n e power plus or minus i m k where p the value of p ranges from 0 to 25 and m equal to we have seen in the previous class by applying the what is the yeah, what is n n is called normalization constant by applying the normalization condition we have what is normalization condition okay i have shown uh, given in a separate video how the normalization constant is obtained the normal is by applying the normalization condition the value of n normalization constant is obtained so n neenga paathina adha onno or video la solliringa fulla mathematical la solve paninga please see the video right ah uh, and the link kile irukku description la na kuduthirukken and the link paarenga pp equal to 1 by square root of 2 pi e power plus or minus i m p okay where m equal to 0 1 2 3 etc it is uh, a yeah, quantum number is a yeah, one of the quantum number to describe the, uh, the this p wave function okay so this is the normalized wave function this is the normalized wave function this is unnormalized wave function this is the normalized wave function because we know the normalization constant okay now if we are using separation of variable separation of variable padi nam enna sendichom the we have separated the schrodinger equation into two equations left hand side and right hand side equation each depends on only one variable alla konjukonga left hand side vandu depends only on ipo pathi left hand side depends only on theta whereas the right hand side depends only on p okay so on solving the left hand side equation that depends only on theta using associated legendre polynomial this is purely mathematical so i mean enna result varudha adha mattum neenga elvikonga on solving the left hand side equation idha nama solving the right hand side equation we obtain this p wave function similarly on solving the left hand side wave function we obtain the theta wave function theta wave function theta is the function of theta equal to n p l modulus of m cos theta where this function where this function is called associated legendre polynomial this is associated legendre polynomial where n is called normalization constant on normalizing this wave function remember similarly here in the mari on by applying the normalization condition the value of n is obtained the value of n is obtained in this case the normalization constant equal to 2l plus 1 divided by 2 into bracket l minus modulus m bracket 
factorial divided by L plus M. Here L minus L plus modulus M bracket factorial square root of 2. Okay, this is the normalization constant. So on uh, putting on substituting M by this, you will get the normalized wave function. So if we end up on it, we have obtained the wave function. If we will add the cap psi equal to E psi, right? The eigen energy values are the number of How the eigen values, how the energy eigen values are obtained uh, from solving these equations, from solving these uh, equations, in this all left hand side equations, all for the whole, in the correct one. In the path, you know, the value of the beta obtained, the value of beta obtained on solving the left hand side equation is beta equal to L into L plus 1, where L is called as rotational quantum number. L is called a rotational quantum number. Okay. The eigen energy values are given by therefore beta on the other hand, you can get for the beta with the 8 pi square uh, rigid rotator part one and also 8 pi square i e by h square. L equal to number by solving this, so by solving the left hand side equation, the value of beta is obtained. So on the beta equal for the energy value of so, you know, one thing, all of us know, L is the magnet, uh, sorry, rotational quantum number 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. Okay, it is obtained uh, by solving the left hand side equation and applying the uh, mathematical condition. We will get it right now. So, solve the number will get it. That is why, in the rotation of all of us, we know that the constant is the moment of inertia, I equal to mu or square. Mu is reduced mass, m1, m2, reduced mass. For example, a diatomic molecule, you have a diatomic molecule with uh, m1, m2, uh, all distance with the R, therefore R m1, m2, theriyo, mass of the atoms, theriyo, from, in rotational and microwave spectroscopy, J L to Bala, J L to Bala, J use for the J, J, J plus 1, J into J plus 1 x square divided by 8 pi square i, where J is called rotational quantum number. Now, in this, this one thing, in spectroscopy, like, you can find it out, there are only other rotation. If you pass it now from rotational spectroscopy or from microwave spectroscopy, the bond distance can be obtained. Now, in the energy of the endometrium, the energy of the spectroscopy is the delta E endometrium. I have given a separate video. Uh, rigid, um, rotational spectroscopy problems na kudutirken eppadi vandu csir gate problems na i will also adhe na inga keela vandu the link oda na kudukuren you also watch that videos okay and the video la sameen you paarga appo from rotational spectroscopy la the bond distance can be calculated right now, from rotational microwave spectroscopy la namu kandupidikalam okay and the video ninge paarga attach panirken nandri thank you for watching